Hi, my name is Tufel Rahim and welcome to Access Engineers. I'm a graphic designer and making tutorial videos on YouTube related to graphic designing. And the channel name is B Designer. Today in this video I will show you how to create box packaging design, how to make die lines and crazing lines. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing I am going to do is that create die lines. For that, change the name of layer, die cut, create a rectangle with rectangle tool, width is 2 inches and the height is 5.25 inches. Now make 3 more copies. For that, select the rectangle, press and hold all button on your keyboard and left button on your mouse. Now drag this rectangle and place it on intersect points. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the same rectangle. Why I create these rectangles with the same sizes? Actually the depth of box is 2 inches so I keep 2 inches width for all boxes. Now it's time to create flaps. For that I create a rectangle with the size of 2 by 2 inches. Place it on the top of intersecting point. Create another rectangle with the size of 0.5 by 2 inches just place it here press and hold shift button on your keyboard and select these small dots or circles and drag them into inside we just created the man flap now create two more flaps create a box with the half size of man flap and the size of small flap is 2 by 1.25 inches place this flap here with the direct selection tool, select this anchor point, press and hold shift button on your keyboard and hit arrow key on your keyboard two times. Make a copy of this flap. Place it here. We created flaps for the top side of the box. Now copy these flaps and uh, place in the bottom. Create a rectangle with the height of 5.25 inches by 0.5 width. Place it here. With the direct selection tool, select this anchor point, press and hold shift button on your keyboard and hit arrow key on your keyboard two times. Most of the work is done. Now I'm going to create a creasing lines or outlines. With the direct selection tool, select inner lines only. Now press and hold shift button on your keyboard and select the rest of lines. Go to edit, uh, click on cut or you can use shortcut key for it, ctrl plus x. Create a new layer and select the new layer and go to edit, click on place in front. Basically we spread the inner lines from die lines or die cut. Now we add stroke and change the style of stroke. Lock the die cut layer and select inner lines. Go to stroke, check dash lines, change the color. Well these strokes shows that the box will fold it from these points. I hope you guys understand. Let's move forward, create a new layer, rename this layer, bring this layer at the bottom. Create a rectangle that covers the whole layout. Now select the die lines and rectangle. Go to pathfinder and click on divide. Ungroup this and delete the outer area. Now I'm going to break this background into two parts. For that, I draw a line with line segment tool. Disable color fill and stroke. Select line and background. Go to Pathfinder and click on Divide. Ungroup this and change the color. Almost everything is done. Now it's time to add the logo, text, and the required information and shapes. So create a new layer and name this to Text and Elements. I just created and set few things already. 
Now drag this logo and place it in the front side. Add the text. Change the color and align to center. Well, the main and important thing in box packaging design is to create right die lines, creasing lines and flaps. I mean all the measurements like a dimension, height, width and depth. I hope you guys understand how to create box packaging design in Adobe Illustrator. If you are creating box packaging design for your client, then he or she probably give you all the required information like measurements and the infographics.